Hi, I'm Dr. Brian Abelson from Kinetic Health. Today we're going to discuss the Epley Maneuver. Now, this video is all about treating vertigo, specifically one type of vertigo, which is benign proxismal positional vertigo, or BPPV. Now, it's really important to understand that we have to be really exact with certain procedures, because if we do this correctly, we'll be able to resolve a vertigo situation which can be very troubling, but not dangerous. So this is benign vertigo. This is usually transient. It means that you actually put your head in a particular position, you may turn, and all of a sudden the room may be spinning, and you may feel like you're gonna fall over, but it doesn't last for very long. Because this type of vertigo is all about getting a crystal stuck in a semicircular canal. You have a vestibular system in your, by your ear here, which has an area called the labyrinth, and you have three semicircular canals. Specifically, the Epley Maneuver is designed to treat when you get a crystal stuck in the posterior canal. Now, when you're moving your head through different motions, you have an anterior superior, which is involved in flexion, bring your head down. That's good, Ritzy, thank you. And you have one on the lateral side, which is involved in rotation. And you have a posterior one, which is involved in lateral flexion. Now, Normally, when you go through all these positions, fluid moves through these canals. And this sends information back to your brain, and you say, okay, this is sensory information that says, okay, this time I'm moving these motions, and then you can find your balance, your equilibrium. The problem is when you get a crystal, or what we call an otolith uh, calcium carbonate crystal, basically breaks off, gets stuck in that canal. The brain thinks that you're actually moving when you're not. So things start spinning, and you start getting this vertigo sensation. So the Epley Maneuver is specifically designed so that we can actually get that crystal out of the canal. It's stuck in the canal, so we've got to get it out. Okay, so what we're going to do here, I'm going to get you to actually bring your legs up to the table here. Good. You doing okay there, Ritzy? Yeah, thank Good. you. Good. <laughs> okay, so let's say, for example, every time you turned your head to the right, you started to feel dizzy and you started to notice that you're having a problem that side. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to go and turn into the side that is having the problem. Now, please be aware, it's very important to communicate with the person. And this is something you could probably do on your own too, but I would really recommend you see a practitioner first to make sure you're doing these procedures properly. Don't just jump into it. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to turn you to 45 degrees here, and I'm going to bring you back here fairly quick. Now, there's a real important thing here is that to get that crystal out of the canal, we actually have to have momentum. And if we go too slow, that crystal could actually get stuck in that semicircular canal. So let's bring you right back here. Bring you come right back. And then I'm gonna bring the table back a little bit here. So your head's gotta be more like 45, there we go. And we're gonna bring your head back about, oh, maybe 20, 30 degrees, somewhere in that vicinity. You okay there? Mm-hmm, thank okay, you. Okay, good. So when we're in this position here, I'd be looking to see if the eyes start going into what we call nystigmus, nystigmus which is a non-voluntary kind of a staccatic movement there. Now, it's very hard for someone to do this. And I'm actually going to, if you look on the top corner, you'll see a link that goes to a video that actually explains. In terms of the posterior restriction of that crystal suck in there, the eyes would start going in a circular motion here. Uh, you can try and do that a little bit. Not very much, just small, small, small motions there. Open your eyes, small, small motions. Okay, so it's almost impossible to perform this if you actually don't have the, the, the problem because it's non-voluntary. So we'd hold the head in a position for 30 to 60 seconds, good. And when you see that the eyes stop moving and you start to see that the person's not feeling dizzy at all, uh, then we will actually change positions. Key point here, it's not uncommon to feel really nauseous for a person when you're doing this procedure. So have a bucket or garbage pail or something fairly close by just in case the person uh, does vomit. Okay, really nice thought, eh? Okay, <laughs> now we're gonna turn the head over to the left-hand side. So this is the opposite side from what we were started with. And we have the head at 45 degrees, head back at 20, 30 degrees. And once again, don't worry about the eye motion there. Too much, good, you okay? Mm-hmm, thanks. And we're going to keep the head here for 30 to 60 seconds. And you're going to be observing and questioning the person, are you feeling dizzy or nauseous? 
and we're also going to be looking at the eyes. We want to see whether or not we have that rotatory uh, problem there in terms of nystigmus, and if we don't, then that's fine. And so after that, what we're going to do is I'm going to actually get you to turn onto your left side here, right onto your side, and I'm going to support your head. And let me just bring this up a little bit here. Right, and the head also is going to be at 45 degrees. Are you okay there? Yes. Okay. Now you notice when we're here, it's like we've gone from 20, 30 degrees to a little bit of flexion. But the main thing is to actually get the head at about a 45 degree angle here. And we'd stay there for another 30 to 60 seconds. You're doing okay there? Yes. Good. Okay, now what I need you to do is with your right hand, push down on the table and bring your legs around, both legs to get a, come and sit up. Just one second, I'll bring you straight up. Okay, come right up. Good. So help support the person's head. And this is the end of the Epley's maneuver. Now, if we've actually gotten the crystal out of that posterior canal, then all the dizziness should settle right down to almost nothing. And this is really effective. If we've got a crystal stuck in the lateral canal or the superior canal, this isn't gonna work. Okay, so this will actually help to confirm whether or not we had the problem in that area. And if it doesn't work, then we might have to look at some of the other procedures we do. So look at our other videos in terms of the Lembert, the head hanging video there. And these will, this will give you indications of what you can do for these other problems. But this is a really effective procedure if you have that problem. Now, here's a side note. The side note is, if it's transient positional vertigo, this is probably the problem. It is the majority of times. But there's other things that can cause vertigo. Central nervous system problems, if you have a trauma, a concussion, other things. That is a different situation. So if you are having, you know, major issues with vertigo in terms of, you know, you start to get, you know, loss of feeling on one side of your body, you notice that your speech is impaired, you can't see through one eye, this sort of thing, you need to get in and get emergency medical care and make sure nothing else serious is going on. So what I'm showing you today is strictly for benign vertigo. Excellent. Check out our website, please subscribe to our channel, and we'll see you on the next video.